sights on I like drone, twilight zone Fly like I'm stone, yeah. they way gone J-Way is known, go hard, go home Get money long, my life up Flow like up, hoes like yup I'm like fuck, where's my phone? Why do you still come to the gym? You know, 75 years old. I mean, you you you, okay. you did the Mr. Universe. But for the same reason as why am I having breakfast today? I had breakfast yesterday at breakfast 10 years ago. Why am I still having breakfast? Right? It's like, <laughs> it's oh, part of your day. Why am I still sleeping? Right, right, right. I slept five, 20 years ago. I slept 10 years ago. So I'm still sleeping every, it's so, every night. It's so rooted in who you are. Exactly. So, so it's the same as with training. Training is part of my life. It's that simple. Nothing will ever change until I die. I will be working out and I will be having a great time in the gym and I will be getting the pump and I, I, and, and I want to feel good, you know? And like I said, it's tough enough as it is with the, when you get older, but you have to hold on as much as you can and you have to still watch what you eat and all of those kind of things. So it, it's, it's all good. Yo, 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 what up YouTube? Welcome to Sand Take, man. My name is Jay Sand. Coming back with another one, man. And I wanted y'all to see that clip from Arnold Schwarzenegger, man. The legendary Arnold Schwarzenegger. Because one thing that caught me, actually several things caught me. But the one thing that really caught me is when he said, this has to be rooted into your life. You know what I mean? Yo, this really has to be rooted into your life. Till we get to 75 years old. You know what I mean? We still have to practice this. This has to be rooted into our life, no matter how old we are. You know, and that's why it's so important. I don't know how to express this more. You know what I mean? What we doing now, the things that we are focused on, you know what I mean? The valuing of our life force, hitting the gym up, you know what I mean? Watching what we put into our mind, changing our whole mindset. Everything that we working on now, the shadow work, bro, the shadow work. Stopping, you know, to, to stop watching pornography. You know what I mean? The no fat shit that we doing. Everything that we doing right now is being rooted. It's being rooted into our lives, bro. This is us and that's how it has to be forever, man. You know what I'm saying? This is not a fly-by-night journey. This is molding us to where, we, look, bro, we are taking this with us for the rest of our life, bro. That's why I always tell y'all that this is a lifestyle. This has to be rooted in us, bro. There's no other way if we trying to elevate, bro. There's no other way if we want our masculinity intact and we want to live in our true self. It's no other way but to continue on this journey throughout life, just like Arnold in his training. I can honestly sit here and tell you, bro, that listen, I am going to be in the gym for the rest of my life. I can honestly sit here and tell you that I am going to practice semen retention for the rest of my life and I'm okay with that. I feel good about it. You know why? Because I feel like I have protection. I feel like I have a tool that I can utilize throughout my life in any situation. I will be able to use this tool. You know what I mean? Not with just women. You know what I mean? Not just in, you know what I mean, dangerous situations. Just as a whole, I will always be able to go back to the journey. You know what I mean? And remember some of the things that I've learned and use that to move forward. You know what I mean? We talk about emotions and all of that shit, bro. Y'all don't know how deep this shit go. You know what I'm saying? That's why that rooted comment stay, stay with me. That's why I talk about roots and growth, bro. Without, without your roots, dog, you won't grow. You know what I'm saying? You have to be rooted into this shit because it starts with your roots. It start with your roots. If your roots is weak, like they was before, like mine's was before, it's no way that we would grow. It's no way that we could get to the top. It's no way that we could accomplish our goals and dreams. It's no way that we will be living in our true self, in our true masculinity, bro. We'd be just, excuse my language, but just as fruity as the shit that they trying to push on us in society. Yeah, because that's what they want. They want us out here fruity. 
They want us, they want to emasculate us, bro. And then continuing on that road, watching pornography, lacking in testosterone, lacking in masculinity, fapping away all your life force. Sure enough, you will end up there. Because your body works in mysterious ways. If you have no testosterone, then guess what? You just gonna fill up with estrogen. And that's the shit that's in the female. So guess what? You gonna pick up those female tendencies. So go ahead and keep fapping. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, we have to be rooted into this shit. Just like Arnold, just like The Rock, just like all of the ones that you see and getting up there in age, but you can look at him and tell, Arnold still will whoop your ass. Arnold still don't play. Arnold still a drop kick your ass. Arnold still in that gym. Our Arnold still holding his masculine frame, which is very important. We didn't understand how important that was. We was too busy indulging in all of the bullshit that they want us into because they want to keep us drinking. They want to keep us lost. You know what I mean? They want to keep us smoking. They want to keep us distracted. They want to keep us fapping. They want to keep us chasing hoes. You know what I mean? I'm going to keep naming them off y'all like he did that the last time. I don't give a fuck. They want to keep us in the club. You think they want us in the gym, bro? They don't want strong masculine men out here. That's what you got to understand. A household, right? A household with both parents in it. You know what I mean? Where the man is running the show. They don't want to see that, bro. So guess what? They going to promote breaking up the family. They going to promote the divorces. That's why much. That's why so much money spent on that. You know what I mean? They going to keep pushing government assistance on our people. You know what I mean? In the hoods and all that shit, bro. The, the scariest thing to them is a strong black family. Full family. Mom and dad and kids. They don't want that. That's why they go out of their way to keep us distracted. They spend billions of dollars to keep us lost. So we can't give in to that. We got to be really, really, really rooted into this shit. We have to really, 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 really hold on to our masculine frame. We have to really, 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 really hold on to our testosterone. We have to really, 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 really stop watching porn and change our mindset. Stop doing all of this self-destructive shit. Because that's what we caught up in. That's what the whole world caught up in. Is doing nothing but self-destructive shit and self-destructive behavior. We have to ditch that shit. And then they motherfuckers wondering why you walk around. These other these people be coming out of other countries. They be like, damn. Look at all of these obese motherfuckers walking around, bro. Yeah. It be tripping them out. You know what I'm saying? That's why I be telling y'all about 600 pound life. That shit real, bro. You can end up like that. You know what I'm saying? It's, a, it's, 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 it's more men on there than women. But it's a lot of women still. That, bro, it's, it's just crazy to watch, man. But guess what? If we stay lost, we could end up in many different ways where we fucked up out here. Where we out here are uh, uh, alcoholics and shit like that. Drug addicts like that. Homeless like that. You know what I mean? Obese. Can't even get out of bed like that. You know what I'm saying? Mental health issues like that want to blow our brains out, bro. You know what I mean? And they gonna continue to push this on society and keep us lost. They don't care where you go. They just wanna keep putting shit out there that's gonna fuck your mind frame up. You know what I'm saying? So when you start indulging in all of that shit and you not paying attention to you, you not putting energy into you, you not valuing you, bro. Listen, you your roots weak as hell. That's why I was so lost, nigga. Why you think I was snorting cocaine? Why you think I was fapping, nigga? Why you think I was weak? Why you think I was weak? My roots wasn't strong. You know what I'm saying? I strayed away from what I sh what, what, what my mama instilled in me, bro. I stayed away from the things that my brothers instilled in me, dog. You know what I'm saying? So it's not a shot at how we was brought up, bro. Listen, bro, we was brought up, man. I was I played football. I was in the sports. You know what I'm saying? I was into all types of things, having fun being a kid. Being a kid. So, uh, uh, 
A lot of times we just get lost out here, bro. But when you find your way back, man, ain't no going back. It doesn't matter how lost you was or the things that you did. That's why it's so easy for me to talk about it, understand that. That's a, that's one indication. I told y'all that before. That's when you know people not healed or not fully healed or not fully invested in healing when they can't talk about it. And I'm not saying that that's with everybody. But one indication that people are really putting in the work to get over their past and it don't phase them like that no more is when they can be open about it. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it takes longer for people. Sometimes it hurts certain people to talk about. So I'm not taking a shot at anybody for not being open and talking about it. Sometimes that shit take time, bro. That shit take time. But you start to see people when they become open about it, that's them healing. They on the back end of healing. You know what I'm saying? So they open about talking about the things that we talk about. We open about it. Look how quick y'all comment. Look at the look at look at how easy it is for y'all to talk about shit like that. A lot of people don't want to talk about what we talk about. They don't want to discuss what we discuss. They don't want to discuss the things that they've been through. And when we discuss this shit, this ain't things that that's pulling us back. We telling motherfuckers that we over this shit. That's why it's so easy for me to talk about it because I'm over it. I'm over it. I'm ready to get to the next level, the next realm. So understand, I wanted y'all to see that clip from Arnold, right? Because as you can see, he's still not slowing up. He's 75 years old. He still don't give a damn. He like, I'm going to do what makes me feel good. Semen retention makes me feel good. Training in the gym makes me feel good. Value in my life force energy makes me feel good. Having control over myself makes me feel good. We got to want to feel good in this life. Not be lost and be, and be controlled by, and, and by these mugs that want us to be whatever. They don't give a fuck about us. They don't care if we die. You think uh, McDonald's and all these motherfuckers care if we die? You think these porn, these motherfuckers in porn give a fuck if you die? You know what I'm saying? You think the government and all these motherfuckers that's trying to keep us lost, society and all of this shit, the liquor companies and the, and, the, and, the, and the marijuana companies and all that shit, bro, you think they give a damn if we die? No. That's why you need strong roots out here. You know what I'm saying? That's why you need strong roots because the outside shit that everybody paying attention to ain't gonna give a fuck. You know what I mean? Don't believe me? Go listen. Go see what's going on in the rap industry. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers dropping like flies and then they on to the next rapper. They on to the next up and coming until they get dropped. And then they moving forward on to the next one, bro. These record companies don't give a fuck. These record companies make more money when the rappers die from streams and all of that shit, bro. These people don't give a fuck about you. So that's why it's important for you to have your roots strong. That's why it's important for you to know who you are. That's why it's important for you to keep your masculinity and don't be lost out here and, and change your whole way of thinking, bro. That's why it's important for you to unlearn a lot of that bullshit, bro. So I'm glad that you're here. I'm proud of you. Because I'ma keep going, bro. I don't give a fuck if I'm 80, 75, 60. I'm doing it backwards, bro. And I don't give a damn, bro. I'ma be just like Arnold. Still in the gym. Still pumping. Still on semen retention. Still valuing my energy. And still feeling good. And that's my word, man. My name JC and it's CN Take. Holla at y'all later, man. Peace. Hustle hard, yeah, that's all day. All day I'ma keep all putting day. in work, yeah, that's all day. Uh, I'm in uh, here to do my job, yeah, that's all day. That's all day. What I do all ain't day. a facade, this is all J. Uh, hustle day. hard, yeah, that's all day. That's all day. I'ma that's keep putting day. in work, yeah, that's all day. You know I'm in here to